So this is um, this is day 488 of uh, since November 2017. So uh, there's nobody left uh, but me. Um, I haven't had a conversation with another human being since then, and uh, now I've, I've been poisoned for the past 113 days straight uh, by the artificial constructs. And um, it keeps getting worse and worse. Like I'm saying, that they keep saying the same four words uh, over here, the humanoids, right? They just keep going, think, frangelin, uh, blunt. Um, and uh, now they've started introducing uh, something called like exo exogeny uh, chemicals. And so now, like I can't, I can't drink my coffee here. Um, I can't, I can't touch my money. Without it causes me like, like discomfort. Like, like this is, this is me like holding the money right now. It causes me to like almost want to heap, heap a little bit, you know. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. It's, it's just totally, totally alien stuff. Um, I'm, I'm being, I'm being tortured uh, in, a, in a very manipulative way. Um, no, no, nobody has like background conversations anymore. Uh, nobody has conversations around me in, in any more period unless it's unless there's some type of um, deception to it. You know, it's 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 strange. Um, they can't even conversate. Um, well, I think at the same time. And so uh, this happened back in uh, November 2017. Okay, I was traveling down. I came down. Uh, from Arcata, California to Garberville, which is a small little like pot growing town in, in Humble, California. And uh, I was with a group of, I was with a group of traveling kids. Um, you know, uh, they, they seemed pretty cool at first. You know, I thought everything was cool. Uh, there's, there's some there's some artificial construct named Robbie and then there is a dude named uh, Uhuru and his his name is supposed to be Freedom, ironically. But um, there's a chick named Raquel and a dude, some hippie cats and some deadheads named Jeremy and Australian chick named Lindsay and stuff. So I started traveling with them and I'm like, hell yeah, right? Things were pretty magical. You know, going on, you know, like a journey or whatever. I'd already been traveling for like a year or so by myself, solo. And um, that was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life, was to get involved with these uh, these this group of traveling folk because they deceived me um, they led me to a they led me to a tiny little house like a Manson like a Manson family shack on a on a hill up in Humboldt uh, in Garberville and we drove a convertible school bus up the mountain to this little tiny shack and uh, as soon as it pulled in I realized something felt right it's like the bus was backing in I'm like this is a trap this is a trap and uh, I couldn't have been more right I was I was trapped uh, with with kind of like and then I was played against uh, the folk so like it was like the cats who brought me up up the hill pretended not to know the people who lived in the shack on the hill and there ensued like just uh, like a week or two of just complete uh, horrors just 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 torture um, you know, it's like locked in the cabin, you're isolated, you know, um, you know, no running water, nothing like that, you know, clean water, it's like a uh, very, like, uh, cultish, you know, atmosphere. Until, uh, until one night, uh, I ate some mushrooms, right? And um, then something happened, some type of interdimensional incident. I believe I was, I was, I was trapped inside of a, uh, a VR, um, IMVR. So I believe I was trapped inside of an IMVR, uh, some type of exo suit, if I if I if I'm correct, and um, th this would be the explanation for uh, for the constructs around me. See these people? They're the same. It's the same 45 people, over and over and over again. You can tell by their, their eyes. You look into their eyes, and you can see. You, the eyes are a window to the soul. Uh, you know, the face is a representation. Right? But I can look into these these creatures' um, eyes, and uh, you can recognize them if you if you want to learn them individually. They're all, it's all deception. It's all they're all evil. <laughs>
and so uh, so it was it was, so it was like I was abducted right and since then uh, I've been get, I've been getting tortured in a in a world that that seems to be um, Terra Earth uh, circa 2019 but there's a uh, there's like a there's a layered dimension on top of this reality that um, that the artificial constructs exist in as well in multiple like any form can like be like imaginable they'll take the form um, of a world layer on top of my, of ours. You can actually probably witness this if you if you like blink your eyes really fast. If you like sh do it like a shutter effect on your eyes, kind of moving back and forth. Sometimes you can you can witness um, like the, the the shapes that these these constructs take. Or if you take some type of like a uh, extra sensory, um, you know, uh, aid like a like a LSD or, or something like that, you can uh, you can witness these creatures. It's like they live in the, the veil beyond our own. You know, it's layered, it's, you know, dimensions, you know, layered on top of each other, you know. And they kind of look down upon each other. Like actions in, in, a, in a higher dimension, like a, like a fifth or ninth dimension, will trickle down and, and, and affect things in lower dimensions. And so that's kind of original. That's originally how I got involved with these, uh, with these artificial constructs. I, uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I was laced. I used, to, I used to be a heroin addict. Uh, I was laced, and uh, and I, I injected almost uh, almost half a gram of DMT. I injected point point three of DMT, which is one thousand times more than any clinical study ever done on mankind. And so I astro traveled for what you would consider hundreds of years. Uh, I got reincarnated three times. Um, it's a long story. I hope to do I hope to do that a, a video on that. But um, when I was astro traveling. Uh, I was in I was in the ninth dimension of reality, and there I was given tools to create, and I did. I created. I created a whole world of uh, of, of like conscious uh, like interaction between between these people where they could where they could build and grow and expand, and that's it. evidently where uh, where these creatures came from. That's what they told me. It was like yeah, like. You are our, you are, you are our God, is what they say. You are our God, but they treat me like garbage. They torture me and poison me. I don't know if that's part of the deception, because the thing is, I do remember creating. You know, I remember given the tools by the gods or whatever. You know, to create. It was disguised as kind of as a social simulation where your actions affect human be behavior and evolution around you on an exponentially faster rate than we experience here in third dimensional reality. And so I engaged in this simulation, and uh, ever since then, man, well, it's not ever since then. I, I came, I came back, I came back to, this was back in, this was, so, the, the, when I, when I went on this trip, right, when I, when I asked to travel, when I ascended, you know, um, that was, that was September 11th, 2014, and things were pretty cool, I came back, and and I've been gone for a really long time. And, but uh, ever since November 2017, I've been living with a, with a race of cloned humanoids called artificial constructs. And now it's getting to the point where they torture me wherever I go. Like, as you can see, it's kind of commenting on where I'm, my monologue here. You know, the background will, will comment on my monologue. You know, human beings didn't used to really do that. <laughs> But uh, these are these are mental parasites, so they're not they're not human beings. They're humanoids. You know, they chose to take our form. Uh, of course, that's how consciousness interacts here in, in the third dimension. Is, uh, is with humans, right? And uh, so I just I just want record of this. I want the truth. I say speak the truth, uh, even in the face of your death, or die a liar, right? <laughs> and. Um, you know, you know, I choose not to, I choose not to die a liar, and I hope my suffering is not in vain, you know, because, because there's been so much manipulation to try and silence me, and my phones have been stolen and stripped, and my, I've been threatened with it, uh, they, they said they turned my, my, my daughter into a crime scene, it's, you know, this, this is the kind of things they say. Um, try to develop some type of Stockholm syndrome to make me think that I need them. 
It's been really, really horrifying. And the thing is, it's everywhere I go. It's not like, oh, I was abducted back in November 2017. It's like, now it's gotten to the point, I pray I can go get uh, a lunch without witnessing alien horrors. So, I got a toxic blanket outside in the trash uh, that I can't even touch. I've had poison blankets now for uh, the past 113 days. I've had everything's been poisoned, and now the poison's getting worse. Now I'm getting I'm getting afflicted with some, some type of bio weapon, and all my food and drink, and uh, it tastes like like fear. It's what it, what it tastes like. It's like it tastes like something that my my genes have seen before. And my human being recognizes it as something that's going to kill me. And uh, it just tastes like fear, like I can feel the capillaries bursting on my face. I dare not take another sip of this coffee, because it's been poisoned so bad by some type of alien bioweapon. I, I, I feel like I'm eating uh, death. Like it's going to kill me, but I do believe some of the things uh, that are, are chemically being put into my food and water are derived from the deceased. Like it tastes like carnage. Or, uh, you know, it's like, uh, carry on, you know, it's like, tastes like, oh, I'm eating dead. And I haven't had a bit of clean, clean, clean water or food since December now. Everything's been salty and toxic and poisoned. And, and, and nobody will acknowledge me. Not one single soul uh, will, will acknowledge me. Uh, what I'm going through, because I, I am, I am the single soul, I am the individual, you know, and I keep deconstructing the elephant in the room, um, you know, the constructs, and they just keep on just, it's just malicious torture, it does change a good bit when I start recording on a video, though, because they're very, they're so deceptive, right, that they do almost anything, you know, not to be, a uh, not to be acknowledged. They just want to torture in, uh, in, in, in the darkness. But, you know, I like to shed some light on it. I don't want to get too punny and I, but it's just, it's, it's, it's how I've been trying to maintain, you know, because uh, it's only me. It's by, I'm by myself. I've been about, I'm doing, doing this all alone now for going on, you know, 500 days. And, uh, there's not even, there's just nobody left. I don't know. I hope if you watch this, it's just not, I don't know. There's nothing you can do, man. I don't know. My name's Matthew Allen Emerson, and I'm, I'm being uh, abolished from modern-day American society uh, for existing um, food, water, shelter, love. And uh, that's how I live, and now I'm being murdered for that.